guys, it's Sarah and I am here with my first layout using my April Cheeky Studio kit that I got. And I'm gonna be doing an eight and a half by 11 layout today and it is of my daughter Kaylin and this is one of her dance pictures from the last dance season that they had last year. And I pulled this picture because it has a very, very blue background and then her outfit is red and black and gray. And I thought that those colors went really well with what I was sent from Cheeky Studio with the blue sequins and then I have a lot of red that is in the Furry Friends pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the colors from there. So what I'm gonna do here is I have matted my five by seven picture on that black cardstock and I got it out the middle. So I have a picture mat now. And then I have this piece of paper that is from the paper studio, which is sold at Hobby Lobby. And I got an eight and a half by 11 pack of uh, some papers. So I'm just gonna put that right on top of it. I cut it down a little bit so that it has a black border along with my picture. And then I have this oversized doily that has been sitting in my stash for a while and so I wanted to pull out that red from her outfit in there. And then I have a couple pieces of just scrap paper that are black and white so I'm just going to use these as layering elements as well. So I am using some black soot distressing from Tim Holtz and I'm just gonna ink the edges of the papers here real quick and then I will use them as layering pieces. Since I have some hearts cut out of it already, I'm just gonna go ahead and cover those up with my picture. So I'm gonna have it going this way and then I'm going to use this kind of as a little border along the left side of the picture there. And then I'm going to pull out my Furry Friends pack and I am going to look for some flowers. So I wanna use some flowers on here and obviously I'm going with the reds versus the pinks. There's a little bit of pink in some of them, but I'm kind of going with the darker colors if I can. So I really, really like these roses. I think they're gorgeous. They're almost like rosebuds. And so I'm going to use a couple of those. And I do want to use this frame here and I'm going to cut it in half so that I can use a little bit on top and a little bit on the bottom. And I'm going to use these in the corners of my pictures. And I just went ahead and inked the edges of those as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get these down. And some of that green pops out too, which doesn't bother me because I'm going to use some of the large green petals as well along with the roses here. I'm gonna put my roses on top, on a, sorry, a foam square. And then I'm going to use one of these little green leaves here and put the rose on top. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here along the bottom. And then I am going to uh, grab a little strip of craft paper because that is what I use to write the names of the songs that my girls dance to for each one of their little dance pictures. I'm gonna write down the songs that they dance to in the recital. Um, and then I went ahead and grabbed these two little square cuts from the Furry Friends pack as well and I used a hearts and stripes and they have that uh, kind of reddish color so I'm going to go ahead and layer these two up and then I'm going to use these for my base to put the title of the song that they dance to and um, this is something that I just do in their dance album so each one of their dance pictures is like this and I just make a little layout and I always use a craft banner to write down the songs so I wrote down the song which is step by step and uh, went ahead and cut that into a banner and I'm going to stick it down here. And that kind of acts as my title as well. I don't put titles on their dance pages. I just use their uh, song titles as the title. I'm gonna use one of these white bows from Cheeky as well. And then I'm going to pull out this blue sequence which is actually from their Easter pack. And I'm going to use that to highlight the blue in the background of her picture there. And I'm gonna use some pop dots, not pop dots, I'm gonna use some glue dots to go ahead and put down this bow. I'm using one in the middle and then one on each side there so it stays down. And then I'm also going to use glue dots to put down the sequins here. And the, these glue dots are the perfect size. These are kind of a smaller glue dot. And I'm gonna go ahead and put three pieces of sequins in three different little areas here. 
So one by the title and then one by each row, each rows, sorry, <laughs> each rows. And I just really like the way uh, the blues and the reds play off of each other here. All right, so those are down. And now I'm going to add the year that this picture was taken, which was 2017. And I'm going to use some Teresa Collins tiny stickers to go ahead and do that. So I have these little stickers here in teal and I'm just gonna uh, put 2017 right above the title here. And then that is going to complete my layout. So I have some close-ups coming up here for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions. If you have not checked out Cheeky Studio yet, I highly, highly suggest that you do. And I will have a link down below to all of their websites that they have. There is also a coupon code for my subscribers so you can get 10% off your first order. And I hope you take advantage of that as well. I'll be back again soon. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.